Hey there everyone, hope you guys are enjoying Dawson's holiday. In this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to farm during this event. As mentioned, the farming system could be a little confusing over here, but don't worry, I got your back. And also, if you're a new player playing in the event, and you're seeing how the event can be a little bit difficult, and you're like, oh, I guess I'm going to miss out on all the good rewards, well, don't worry about it, stick with me, this event is very friendly for every single player to be farming. So, let's run through the menu interface together, and then afterwards, we talk about how you should be getting all the currencies that you want. So, I'm going to be clicking on Honor Showcase first. So, Honor Showcase is this screen right over here. It needs you to collect these things called the Chen Commemorative Medal. Now, how do you get these Chen Commemorative Medals? You click over here, it says Chen Clue Note. So, this shows all of the ways or the little quests that you can be doing during the event. I want you to sort by these three buttons over here. So, Championship is the normal stages, DH1 to DH9. And you've already seen that these are existing. So, basically, you just need to complete the missions as they mentioned. Once you complete all of them, you'll be getting the medals, and then afterwards, you'll add your collection. Now, you guys have probably seen that there's another option in the menu, which is Tiding Unseen. That particular option has DHS1, DHS2, all the way to DHS4, and later on, on week 3 of the event, there will also be a DHMO1. So once you manage to complete the missions, you'll be getting way more medals through this as well. So not all the medals can be collected at the start of the event. Some of the medals will come on week 2, some of the medals will come on week 3. The ones that come on week 3 is the DHMO stages, and the ones in week 2 will be the after wins tab that you see over there, where you clear DHEX1 all the way to DHEX8. Some of these missions have these extra descriptions, so make sure you read them, and then if once you complete them, you'll be awarded the medals. Now the medals will give you a lot of materials as you can see over here. There's like a module block that's right here. There's a bunch of uh, pictures as well. So pictures are what you use to unlock the stages in the Tidings Unseen. Like for example, this image, it lets you unlock DHS1. There's going to be another one that lets you unlock DHS2 all the way to DHS4. So please take some time to collect all of these materials over here. They'll really help you out of your account. You'll appreciate having so many good stuff. Look at that module data block. Uh, poly prep is right here. There's chip catalyst as well. And then there's all these EXP and tier 5, tier 4 materials. So please get them. There's a collect all button. If let's say you don't want to one by one collect, this is convenient for you guys. All right, so that's done for the medal. Let's bring you to Mama John's shop. So Mama John's is the main event store over here where you spend these vouchers to purchase the materials that you want. I'll come back to this later on. But basically, you would want to buy out as many of the stuff in the front part of the store. So all of these things that you see over here, and then afterwards, if you scroll all the way to the back, there's the infinite section. Now, don't touch the infinite section until you have completed the stuff in front. I'll explain to you why there's an infinite section in a bit. But the goal is that you want to complete all of the things earlier on, because they're much cheaper than the infinite version. All right, let's move out of this. Let's bring you to Dorsal Spa Boutique. So Dorsal Spa Boutique is a unique feature of this event where it allows you to get stickers, and these stickers can help you in the stages. When you click on the stickers, you'll see a description of what they do. So if you look over at this one, it says all caster, sniper, supporter, and medic will recover 25 points of corrosion damage. Which corrosion damage is the like the sanity bar that you see, the white color circle. That thing really hurts them when it reaches zero. So this helps them to recover 25 points per second, which means so long as they don't take so much damage from like casters, for example, then they would actually be able to heal themselves enough. I believe there's a stronger version. I think there's a 50 point version. Yeah, there's a 50 point version. And then afterwards, there's the other stuff that says that uh, they will get uh, increased attack under erosion. So when they're in that circle state, they'll receive more attack. There's also defense and all the other stuff. So you are able to customize the stickers that you bring along to the stages. If you click over here, you can see that you can set a maximum of five stickers that you bring all the time. You can deselect all, and then afterwards you can choose the stickers that you feel are best for you. If you're struggling during this event, then use the stickers to your advantage to help you to clear some of the stages that you want. Once you're done collecting the five stickers, then just click on save, and then you'll be bringing these to the stage. Important to mention as well, for those of you who have set these stickers and you go into the stage and you save and auto-deploy, the auto-deploy will save the set of five stickers that you put in the stage. Even if you change your set of stickers later, your auto-deploy remembers what you use. So if you're farming with the help of the stickers, it will be fine. Now, whenever you get your stickers, you do get quite a lot of vouchers together with it. The goal of this event is to obtain all of the stickers that are within it. So as you can see, there's a total of 48 stickers to collect. 
How do you collect stickers? You collect them via the normal stages. And I'll show you how to farm the normal stages in a bit. When you have excess stickers, meaning you obtain more than one of the sticker version, then you have the option to recycle the sticker. So for instance, this one states that I have one error coin, I have another big lottery token. So I can take this, I can recycle it, and you'll give me the same amount of vouchers equivalent to it. When you are recycling the stickers, you will notice that there's this bar over here. Let's click on it. So it states that for every 1000 Mama John's voucher recycled, Ernesto will give you a gift. The gift will be a sticker. So when there are uncollected stickers, the gift will be one of those uncollected stickers. If not, he'll give you a remnant sticker to those that are of value. So for instance, over here is saying that I'm still missing 36 stickers. Once I collect 1000 Mama John's vouchers, then he's going to give me one of the stickers that I don't have. So this helps you to obtain the rarer stickers that might be harder to get. If you're wondering how much is it to recycle all of these stuff, you can click on the sticker as you see over here. So this one states that this sticker is 150 vouchers. This one is 18 vouchers, 12 vouchers, 9 vouchers. And then the other stuff have like a varying amount. Like you see 20 over here, it's 20. I think most of the normal stickers are 20. Oh, but there are some that are 40. So the harder to get one seems to be 40. Right, because it depends on the triangle, the rarity that they have in order to obtain them. So if you are lucky enough to get some of the bigger stickers, like for instance, if you get this one, 150, then you will be getting a huge stash of vouchers entering your account. But the thing that you require will be luck. All right, let's show you how to farm the stages. So if you go over here to the normal stages, you can see there are nine stages for you to play in total. The question that most people are asking around right now is which stages should I be playing? Is one stage better than the other? So this is the news that I want to share to both new players and old players. In this event, it doesn't matter which stage you farm. So there's no material stages as you can see, right? There's like no material drops in this one, this one, and this one. Except you get these like little stickers kind of thing and then there's some additional one that goes along with it. Now that is the first part that explains why we have an infinite store. As I mentioned just now, there's an infinite store over here, right? So to get the materials that you want, you spend your vouchers over here. So once you have completed everything in the front of the store, then you can start buying the stuff that you want, whether it's the Orion Cluster, Manganese Ore. Please don't buy Orion Cluster, you can farm 1-7 for it. But if you insist, sure, I will still suggest the first two materials to be better. So that is why there was an infinite store. And the good thing about not having a specific stage to farm a material makes it such that it's okay for you to farm any of the stages. And I mean it so. Now, the first thing that I want you to see is that there's all these different coins that you get here. You get a gold chip in the first three stages, DH1, 2, and 3. You get an error coin in the next three stages, 4, 5, and 6. And then you get a Dorsalus Big Lottery at DH7, 8, 9. The thing about these stickers is that they are exactly the amount of sanity that you earn. You get one of those stickers each time you play. So I'm going to show on the screen now, you get these stickers in these set of stages, correct? These stickers will give you a certain amount of Mama John vouchers. So for the gold chip, when you recycle it, it gives you 9 Mama John vouchers. For the error coin, it gives you 12 Mama John vouchers. And then for the Dorsus Big Lottery, it gives you 18 vouchers. So if you look at the amount of sanity spent in the stage, it's the exact same. 9 sanity for 9 vouchers, 12 sanity for 12 vouchers, and 18 sanity for 18 vouchers. So basically, the concept here is kind of like interlocking competition. You can perfectly farm the event currency in the earlier stages without needing to play the harder ones. So for those of you who are new players playing this right now and you can't beat the later stages, you don't need to be pressured. You can play the earlier stages and the middle stages as well. Then some players are going to ask me, what's the point of farming the later stages? The only good thing that you get is time. You save time on spending your sanity. Because I mean, this takes 18 sanity, right? And the earlier stages take 9 sanity, which means you need to play two times more if you use the earlier stages compared to the later ones. Then the next thing you're going to ask me is the stickers. Do the stickers not have a higher drop rate later on than in the front? Well, my answer to you is no, it doesn't. The thing is, you can obtain the stickers basically in all of the stages as well. Now, if I click over here and you see this, there's this part that says DH1, DH4, and 7. This one says 2, 5, and 8. This one says 3, 6, and 9. So the thing about this is that all the stickers can be found in the sets of stages. You can find all the stickers in 1, 2, 3, 
you can find all the stickers in 456 and you can find all the stickers in 789 just to show it to you if you click on 6 and we see the rewards these are all the stickers correct and then we click on 9 it's the exact 14 that we saw just now and then if you click on 8 it's the same stickers again together with 5 basically you need to choose which few set of stages you're comfortable to play if you're a new player you cannot play the later stages doing 1, 2, 3 will not just get you the event currency that you need but it will also get you the stickers that you want if you find 1, 2, 3 very easy you can't do 7, 8, 9 you can just do 4 to 6 and if you're a veteran player you can just do 7 to 9 so that is the idea choose the set of 3 stages that you're comfortable with in order to farm the stuff that you want so that is that to explain to you guys how to farm in this event last thing to put about farming if you have actually farmed all of the stickers in the event then all you need to do is to farm the event currency so play within the set of stages that you have chosen and hopefully you get lucky to get some of those higher rarity stickers as well like the ones that exchange for 150 vouchers so no pressure at all no matter which stage of the game that you are spend the time in this event to farm out all the jolly good materials that they're giving to you guys and then the most important thing is to have fun as you are playing along with it the final thing that I want to put is just this stage. So this is the DHS one, just to show you guys. It's the tab that's on the bottom right over there. So I clicked on that. And then you can play DHS one here, DHS two. It needs you to get an image. And then same for three, four, and I think there'll be one more ammo stage that appears somewhere in here. All right. I think that's everything that you guys need to know. If you guys still have questions as to how to play this event, let me know down in the comments if I missed anything. I don't think I've missed anything because I think I made it very clear how to play through this. Alright, hope you guys enjoy your time and I shall see you guys in the next few videos. Bye-bye.